With the explosion of advanced stats usage in hockey nowadays, you'd probably heard the word Corsi everywhere. And if you want to know what all the hype around it is and why it matters so much, I made a video on that same topic which I'll link down below, so check that out. So in that video, I talked about one of the main problems of Corsi being players who aimlessly fire a shot towards the net getting increased Corsi values. So, to account for this better, some stats people had decided to take out the block shots portion of Corsi, and only account for shots on goal and shots that go just wide of the goal. And that is exactly what Fenwick is, unblocked shot attempts. It was named after blogger Matt Fenwick, and the whole point behind it is that some people see finding open shooting lanes as a serious skill, and that there should be a value for finding those lanes, since having more unblocked shots can correlate to scoring chances better than Corsi can. Otherwise, Fenwick is calculated exactly like Corsi is, where a certain player or team is looked at and a fraction is used to compare attempts for versus attempts against. For example, if player A is on the ice for a shift and during their shift they fire a shot on goal, a shot that gets blocked by an opposing player, and a shot that misses the net, then their Fenwick 4 is plus 2. But if on that same shift an opposing player fires a shot on player A's own goalie, then the Fenwick against would be minus 1, giving a net Fenwick rating of plus 1, or a fraction of 2 over 3, giving a Fenwick percentage of 66.67% for player A on that shift. Now just apply this thinking for every shift and every player on the ice for both sides and you'll get the team Fenwick values. So that is my video on Fenwick, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more hockey videos like this one, check out some of my other videos and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.